Hey, this is Left Technical, and I'm going to show you a simple way to play sounds in your application. So I'm going to create a new application. I'm going to call it Playing Sounds. All right. Change the form border style to Fixed Tool Window. Get rid of the text. And make it a bit smaller. Add a button. Actually, sorry, we're going to add a checkbox and we're going to change the appearance of that checkbox to button and then we're going to change the name to dual state button. Alright, oh yeah, I should uh, change the auto size to false. Alright. And center align the text change the text to play okay and we're going to open up the debug directory bin debug and we're going to copy in a wave file the format has to be wave because that's the only file type that our object can play our code that we're using so I just use Audacity to convert an mp3 to wave okay so I'm gonna double click on the play button to generate a click event handler and open up the code window and up top before we start writing into the event handler we're going to add a using statement and we're going to say using system media and then we're going to go and declare our object private sound player sound player and in the constructor we're going to construct our object sound player is equal to new sound player and here we have a construct or, or sorry a constructor overload that will allow us to specify the location of our file which is in the startup directory so we don't need to specify any path we just have to say call on me dot wave and there's our wave file okay and here we'll start working on the button or the dual state button click event handler so if stay button dot checked then stay button dot text is equal to stop okay that's going to change the text to stop and then we're going to also start the sound player uh, what's wrong here uh, oh, it's okay. Play sound player dot play. Okay. Else, uh, I'm just gonna copy this for a template. I'm gonna change this to start or play to be more appropriate. And down here we're gonna say stop. Okay, so uh, so when the button is checked, we're going to be playing the music, and the button is going to prompt for stopping. And if the button isn't checked, then we're going to the uh, sound player is going to be stopped, and there's going to be an option to play it. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so I'm going to press the play button and it's going to play my music. I can't leave it on for too long or YouTube will um, figure out that it is copyrighted or something stupid like that and null out my audio. So you can play, stop, play, stop. Okay, so that's a simple way you can play sounds in your Windows Forms application. This is Left Technical signing out.